So welcome everybody to this video in which we're going to be explaining on a step-by-step -step guide how to turn complete strangers into recurring customers through a series of free value that we're going to be providing through our personal brands and a system that I'm going to elaborate on how to create inside again this video right here. Now, usually I don't give away those videos completely for free as they are part of my paid program, but I'm actually using this video to invite you to join my private completely free community of people that are interested in turning their passion into profit and creating, launching, and scaling their infotainment products. This video is part of a two hour masterclass that you can find inside this private community and you can consume completely for free. You can consider this a gift to you for joining this private community of mine. So if you find value in this video, check out the first link in the description and I invite you again to join this free private community of creators just like you. Every personal brand, as we said, needs a system that turns strangers into fans. This is step one. Step two turns fans into customers. Very important step. And step three turns customers into reoccurring buyers. All right, so we start with strangers and we turn strangers into reoccurring buyers. This is the ultimate goal of a personal brand. So let's analyze step one, right? Turning strangers into fans. So how do we turn strangers into fans and how do we do this, right? By not risking a single dollar of our personal fans. So we do this by providing free, consistent solutions to their problems in the form of video, all right? So we brainstorm, the problems of the people that we want to serve and this all obviously means that we need to have identified our target audience and our niche right so we create again our target avatar we brainstorm the problems that our target avatar have has and then we solve those problems for free we don't charge anything for this in form of video and again i'm gonna just say it one more time that i'm gonna show you how to brainstorm a target audience, how to create an, a target avatar, how to choose your niche in the next lessons that will come. This is just a general overview of the system, right? So what do we do? We provide free, consistent solutions in the form of video, right? Where do we upload this video? Very easily answer to this question. Social media, this could be YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, long form, short form, doesn't really matter as long as you're providing free, consistent solutions to their problems in the form of video and this why it's risk-free this is the first gear of the system right solving their problems through video the only things you need to know pretty much now that recording video nowadays it's so easy the only thing that you need to do is to pretty much know the solutions to their problems which is like fundamentals of business so if you can't even solve the problem of the people that you want to serve then why embark on this journey in the first place right how right how do we solve how do we provide free consistent solutions to their problems by knowing exactly who we target right and their problems so the fundamentals again the fundamentals of a successful business is knowing exactly who you want to target and knowing exactly their problems and as i mentioned in the previous lesson one of the easiest way to achieve this is by actually solving the problems that you had some years back so solving the problems of your younger self because you knew exactly your pains you knew exactly the pain points that you have experienced and you have underwent transformative experience yourself so it's easy for you to solve the problems that you have that being said of course you can solve other people's problems as long as you're an expert on this right so why do we choose video because it is free it is easy to produce and it is highly leveraged because videos apart from the fact that nowadays they're completely easy to shoot with just a phone right extremely easy to produce you don't need to have like any experience in videography, any experience in lenses, any experience in cameras, you can just do it automatically with your phone, right? And once you create those videos, they're highly leveraged because it can be uploaded on the web, right? You can upload it on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, and those algorithms pretty much distribute your videos exactly to the people that will benefit from those videos and, of course, completely for free. This is step one on turning strangers into fans. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is something that for me, it's extremely valuable. It is information that I wouldn't release outside of my courses. And this looks like a, just a simple diagram to you guys. But for me, this is like my whole business strategy right here. All right. So right now we're on this stage, releasing free videos on the web. In my case, because as I told you, I will be revealing my secret strategy on how I managed to create and scale a personal brand. 
right? With zero followers, zero investment, right? In my case, step one, which is again, turning strangers into fans, we're talking about this white stage right here. This is step one. So I solve problems that I know that my target audience has and I solve it on free YouTube videos and course content, all right? So for example, you are part of my target audience. You are probably someone that knows the potential of growing a business online, wants to start creating content and monetizing their passions and skills. You are a person with ambitions and person with skills and you're interested into learning the systems right behind online entrepreneurship. And this is why you are inside my funnel right now. And I know we'll be, I will, we'll, we will be discussing what is a funnel later on in this course, but this is step one, right? I get strangers just like you, right? We just met and I provide free value to intrigue them to solve some of their problems. So right now I'm solving some of you, your problems. I am explaining to you how this system works, right? Now, a very qu common question that I have and I get every time that I suggest someone to solve people's problems for free online. He says, what if I solve all of their problems, right? How am I gonna make any money? So what if I solve all of the problems of my target avatar? How am I gonna make any money? Right. If I produce like three videos every week and upload on YouTube, this here here is how we we're gonna be making money out of this. So you give out the framework, right, the theoretical aspect for free, and you sell the application, which is the action. You give out the theory for free, you sell the action in your offers, and this makes absolute sense if you think about, it, right, when someone watches all of your videos and they find value, they will be happy to pay you to get more value out of you. And I don't know if you've seen this, but we moved to step two, which is turning fans into customers. So providing for free, again, solving problems for free, turn strangers into fans because they find value in what you say, so they become fans. And then if they watch most of your videos and they find consistent value, they will be happy to pay you to get more value. So imagine these, these guys are thinking, wow, this dude helped me out so much for free. Imagine what value I would get from him if I pay him, right? And um, I'm sorry for the small error there, but this is what they, they should be thinking. Like, wow, this guy offers all of this value for free. Just imagine what happens if I pay him for his offer. This is what we want our audience to be thinking. And this brings us to the second step of the system, all right? how do we turn our fans into customers, right? We need to turn our fans, so our followers and subscribers into leads. And this is a new word that I'm gonna be introducing to you right now, leads. So I can hear you thinking, what is a lead? A lead is a person which you can directly contact, okay, by email, message, or phone number, all right? Again, let me repeat myself, to turn a fan into a customer, we need to turn them, first of all, into a lead because we can't directly message a subscriber, right? We can't message a follower on Instagram, but we can't really message a subscriber. So we need to convert them into leads. All right, so cool. How do I do this? How do I convert a subscriber into a lead? Well, this is where a lead magnet comes, comes into play, right? And what is a lead magnet? I hear you, you that's the next question, next question that everybody has. A lead magnet is a cheap, or completely free do-it-yourself product, and I'm gonna explain what a do-it-yourself product is, that is full of value that you give out in exchange for a person's email. And you have probably seen a lot of lead magnets before online. Have you ever seen, for example, some offers that people have that say, hey, I will give you my framework completely for free. All you have to do is sign up to this email list. This is how they turn you into a lead you give your email in exchange of a valuable product. This product is usually completely free or very cheap, and it is a DIY product, a do-it-yourself product. This means that people give you the information, all right, and you need to adapt by yourself this information to your business model. So in my personal brand system, a lead magnet that I use to turn people that see my stuff on YouTube and see my stuff from courses to get their emails, right? If they're interested in what I'm preaching, right? Obviously. Again, it is a low ticket product that earns trust. In my case, the lead magnet is course GPT. This is how I call it. So 
in my case, my personal brand, again, I help people monetize their passions, all right? So turn their passion into profit through online course creation and through, again, expressing their passion into the online world, right? And a very useful tool is this prompt list in which it pretty much enables you to utilize the power of artificial intelligence to help you in your business. So when I propose to give out this lead magnet in exchange of an email, people see the value there because they've seen the consistent value that I provide on YouTube and in my courses. And they're like, sure, I will give you my email to get this um, course GPT list, right? No problem. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, how you turn your fans into leads. And then it's easier for us to sell them something. Now, if your lead magnet is not free, right? Congratulations, this is how you made your first dollar online. So if your lead magnet is, for example, $5, $1, $10, right? This At this point, you will make your first dollar online. And the craziest part is that you don't need a specific amount of subscribers or followers to sell your first lead magnet or to acquire your first lead. You can have 100 subscribers and you can still sell your first lead magnet or collect your first email. That's the beauty of it, right? Having more subscribers just increases the, the, the odds, right? The chances of you having a lead, making a lead, making a sale. So now that we've turned right, fans into customers, let's try to sell our mid-ticket product, all right? So again, we are right here now. In, in, in a case of an online brand, an online business, a personal online business, you need a lead magnet, which is again a low-ticket product, right, that earns trust. And we need the emails of those people in order to use them, to use these emails to market our mid-ticket offer, right? And as you can see, by the dots that I've created here, these dots indicate the number of people. So in YouTube, in our courses, for example, we have a lot of people, right? Then as we funnel them down, we have less people subscribing to our lead magnet and even less people checking out our mid-ticket offer, right? So what is a mid-ticket offer? A mid-ticket offer is an offer or a product, right, that solves a low-ticket product problem, which the low-ticket product is our lead magnet, right? As we said, this is a very cheap thing that we sell in order, in exchange of the email, right? When, when people imp implement what our lead magnet states, the purpose of this lead magnet is to provide lots of value and also, as you provide value and you unlock new information to your audience, right, which they absolutely love, the next thing that comes into play is that they have more questions and more problems arise because they've moved to the next level. And those problems are solved by your mid-ticket offer. So what a mid-ticket offer is, is pretty much an offer that a product that solves a low-ticket product problem and proposes a new one, all right? So to give you an example, Again, a mid-ticket product solves a problem that rises from the lead magnet and proposes a new problem solved by a high-ticket product, if that makes sense, right? So what are some examples of mid-ticket products? This could be courses, this could be ebooks, right? How much should I price my mid-ticket product? Anywhere from 50 bucks to 200 bucks, right? Depending on your niche and the problems that you solve, all right? So, Pretty much there is not like the absolute ceiling on charging a mid-ticket product. For example, if you solve problems on how to create rockets, then you're not going to charge the information for $200, right? And also if you solve like problems which are very commonly solved online, for example, yoga courses, right, which are everywhere, you probably want to go into the lower spectrum of pricing a mid-ticket product, right? But in general, mid-ticket products are either DIY products, so products in which they give you the information and it's up to you to implement them. It's up to the customer to implement what your state, right? This could be a masterclass, for example, a big course, right? Which again, you as the creator can sell without needing to sacrifice your time, right? It can sell if you're sleeping, you can still sell a course if you're sleeping, right? Or an ebook, for example. You spend a big amount of time creating once and then it just can be leveraged using the power of the internet, right? So again, the pricing of your mid-ticket product depends on your niche. In general, it's priced anywhere from 50 to 200 bucks, all right? Now, in my case, all right, my mid-ticket offer is the pretty much the program, the program that I sell that helps people. I give out all of the information on how to create 
and launch your online course business. So it's a course that teaches you how to create courses, right? So this is a four hour masterclass. I cover everything from start to end on how to turn your passion into profit in video format, right? So I give all of the knowledge out in a four hour program. This is my mid ticket offer. What's the goal of a mid ticket offer? Again, to unlock more information to the viewer, to, to give out more information to people. And obviously, it's completely normal when you're giving out information, when you're unlocking new levels to your audience, that they have more questions and they have more problems arising, right? You're not trying to create problems, right, to your audience. Let me be clear on that. You're not trying to create problems. It's just that you're being so helpful and you're providing so much value that those people unlock so many new doors in which they just have new questions and new problems arising. And those problems, you guessed it, are solved by your high ticket offer. So again, you need three offers in your business, a lead magnet, a mid ticket offer, and a high ticket offer, All right? So this is how we turn, ladies and gentlemen, customers into reoccurring buyers. So a high ticket product solves every single problem that rises from the mid ticket product offer and it is the ultimate experience for your customers, right? So some examples of high ticket products are done for you or done with you products. So for example, I create an online course business in my case for you, or I create an online course business with you, all right? One-on-one -on -one coaching programs, those are high ticket products, right? Because I'm directly exchanging my time to help you. So this means that I'm gonna charge more for this masterminds so people coming together in one location in the world talking about the stuff how much do i charge for my high ticket product so high ticket products usually start from 500 dollars at least to literally unlimited amounts of dollars for example if a big tech ceo offers a high ticket product in which he flies out he comes to your place and shows you exactly how to create a big brand like his he, he, he can charge as much money as he wants right so obviously the pricing of a high ticket product depends on the niche and the problems that you solve. Solve harder, harder problems, you can charge more for them, right? So this is the high ticket product. And this concludes the system that we are going to be creating in this course right here. You need free value on YouTube courses and other social media mar marketplaces, right? Then convert your subscribers into leads grab their emails because using their emails we are going to be marketing our mid-ticket offers which solves a problem that arises from the lead magnet and proposes a new problem that is solved by our high ticket offer right and this is where all of the problem all of the problems of our viewers end now you might have seen those arrows right here and those arrows are arrows that are directly their marketing pathways pretty much Sometimes, and this is just a game of odds, a person that watches your YouTube video or your courses wants to directly enroll in your mid-ticket offer and your high-ticket offer. This is why having a lead magnet is extremely helpful, but not you don't exactly need a lead magnet to make money online. For example, we could completely raise the lead magnet part of the system and it would still work, but you just would generate a least amount a, a lower amount of money, right? So sometimes people watching YouTube videos, they find so much value and they're so interested in what you're saying that you can directly help them buy your mid ticket offer or your high ticket offer. But this obviously depends on how your system is structured and how you interconnect those links. So again, we discussed about the gears of the system in this lesson right here. Again, gear one, gear two, gear three, gear four. And moving on in this course, I'm going to show you exactly how to connect those gears together so they work flawlessly. For now, we're going to move into the next part, which is setting up the foundation of success, which comes down into choosing the correct niche, choosing the correct people to serve with your system, right? With your valuable knowledge, right? Because this system and those gears need to be, of course, connected together, but they need to be connected together to solve the problem of the correct people in the correct time, right? So this is exactly what we're discussing in the next lesson of the course. So thank you very much. I'm going to see you there. So as we talked about in previous lessons, the pillar, the foundation of structuring this system that we, again, analyzed in previous lessons is a correct niche, is choosing the correct people to serve, is choosing the correct problems to solve, right? And 
as a rule of thumb in general, the harder the problems that we will solve with our videos, with our services, with our offers, the more compensation we can ask for these problems. That being said, we need to find a fine line between problems that are very hard to solve and also problems that we are capable of solving, right? So I shouldn't start, for example, I shouldn't choose as my niche um, astrophysics and solve a very complex astrophysics topic if I don't actually know how to solve it, right? So in this lesson right here, we're going to be further analyzing and diving into, again, the foundation of structuring this systematic approach in online business that we've been discussing about in previous lessons and we're going to be analyzing in next lessons. And more importantly, all right, we're going to be analyzing who do you want to serve, right? Who will you serve the best and which problems should you solve, all right? So welcome to the Finding Your Niche lesson. This is just going to be a very laid back lesson in which by the end of it, you will be comfortable in choosing your niche and you will actually you will actually know what a niche is, all right? Because many people don't actually know what a niche is. So Finding Your Niche. Ask yourself, how can I help my younger self? And why do I always suggest people to structure their niche around their younger selves? So check this out. If you have overcome a problem that you once have faced, all right, chances are that millions of people have the exact same problem and you can help them overcome it, all right? So during our lifetime, all right, no matter how old are you, we've all been through transformative experiences, all right? And what people crave and what people really want from online education and from all of the value that we're going to be providing is they want to move from point A to point B, right? And this is a transformative experience. And if you have underwent any transformative experience, this could be weight loss, this could be making money online, this could be pretty much anything. And I'm going to show you the different niches that they exist in the next slides, right? But pretty much if you have underwent any transformative experience, chances are that millions and millions of other people, right, have the exact same problem, want to undergo the exact same transformative experience that you have underwent, but don't know how to get there. But check this out. You know how to get there because you have underwent this transformative experience. You have, you know, grown up from point A to point B. And this doesn't need to be like f becoming the founder of PayPal or something extremely hard. A simple transformative experience would be, for example, how you were accepted into your university of choice or how you managed to learn how to cook or bake cakes, right? And we, there are many different transformative experiences and many different tra transformative experiences that people crave to understand, right? So what I mean by if you've underwent from point A to point B, this really means that you have that dialed down a framework that helps, that can help people and have helped you move from point A to point B. So again, we focus on problems that are solved with frameworks. Framework, the framework is what we're gonna be giving out for free. So we'll, we will be giving away the information regarding our frameworks and we will be selling the adaptation of the information, all right? So giving away our frameworks for free, exactly what I'm doing in this course right here and selling the adaptation, all right? If that makes sense. Now, how to choose your niche? We've talked about, again, asking how can you help your younger self, but this is a very broad question. These are the three core niches, all right? And I've taught this in many different courses. This is extremely valuable, and every single student of mine that understands the three core niches has, have, has no problem choosing the correct niche, structuring his system on the correct foundation, and scaling up to thousands of students and impacting perhaps potentially millions of people. Those are the three core niches that you have to choose from, right? So health, wealth, relationships. Pretty much every single problem that we have as humans is a problem under one of those three categories. So health, wealth, relationships. Now, here's the thing. You do not have to pick a broad niche. Like you do not have to pick, for example, okay, I'm going to solve health problems or I'm going to solve wealth problems or I'm going to solve relationship problems. And pretty much it's impossible to do this because you can't solve all health problems and you can't solve all wealth problems or all relationship problems because there are many sub niches in each niche, right? So in health, for example, we've got working out, diet, yoga, breathing, meditation, 
and countless of other sub niches that you can focus and you potentially can help people move from point A to point B. For example, in yoga, people want to move from point A to point B, from being a complete beginner to understanding principles of yoga. Working out, also, people want to go from point A, being fat, to point B, being fit, right? Wealth, many, many different sub-niches, starting a business, investing, cryptos, real estate, marketing, sales, and again, millions of other sub-niches that I haven't mentioned here because this will take all day to mention, right? Relationships, finding love, making new friends, influencing people, public speaking, raising a family, all of those are issues and sub-niches of the relationship niche, all right? So we do not choose a core niche, or obviously we need to choose a core niche, but we don't focus to solve problems of a core niche, we focus to solve problems of sub-niches of a core niche. And check this out, guess what? Sub-niches have their own sub-niches, right? So diet, for example. So we have entered the health core niche, the sub-niche of diet, and the sub-sub-niche of carnivore diet, keto diet, vegan diet, carbs only diet, fasting diet. So you can, as you can imagine, there are many, many, many sub-niches. Where should you draw the line, right? That's a great question. Where should you draw a line? How, how long should you be, you know, sub-niching and sub-niching and sub-niching to choose your niche? Well, this depends on the competition. For example, let's take health, right? If there was no competition and you were the only person solving problems regarding health and you had millions of people right, needing to have their problems solved and you were the only solution to those problems, then sure, do not sub-niche, choose health. Cover working out, cover diet, cover yoga, cover breathing, cover meditation, all right? And you will serve all of those people. But if there is competition in a niche and we can't really overcome this competition so they're better than us in a way, the best thing that you can do is to sub-niche. So this is where we sub-niche. For example, working out. Very, very, very saturated, right? We've got many people being personal trainers, many people uh, being gym fanatics, many people creating content and solving problems in the working out space. So what do we do if we want to stand out in the sub-niche? We further, further sub-niche even more. So for example, if I wanted to stand out and structure my system on health, I would go to the working out sub-niche and then even more, for example, only in dumbbell exercises. And I would become, let's say, the ultimate problem solver in the dumbbell exercises because there is such a wide variety of people interested in working out and health that I can only serve people in a sub-niche. That being said, if, for example, we've got a, let's say, a core niche that is not that popular, for example, let's say, in the relationships category, raising a family, right? Perhaps there are not as many people interested right now in having problems on raising a family or actively so actively seeking solutions to those problems as, for example, people actively seek solutions of working out. So, for example, in raising a family, you would more easily be the leader of your niche, right, if you chose rather than working out. So, ask this to yourself. What process or framework have I understood good enough to help my younger self? And this is the ultimate question to ask. So, what process or framework, this means that from which, in which niche have I underwent a transformative experience from point A to point B? And I can describe how I w underwent this transformative experience so I can describe the steps that I took, the framework that I followed to help my younger self, right? Is it health, wealth, or relationships? Great, it's health, for example. Okay, which, which, which sub-niche of health? Is it working out? Is it diet? Is it yoga? Is it breathing? Is it meditation? Is it one of the millions and millions of sub-niches that health has, right? If you find one sub-niche, then ask yourself, is the competition there, right? Too much, all right? Are many people offering solutions to problems that I had? Or how, how hard would it was it for me to solve the problem that I had on the health sub-niche? Did I follow an influencer or did I just come up with a solution myself because I didn't have resources anywhere? If you came up with the solution to solve the problem that you have underwent in the past by yourself, right? this means that there is probably not enough help out there. So people that have the same problem aren't being 
assisted by other people. So you could potentially be very profitable in this sub niche. All right. So for the sake of this course, let's say that, for example, you choose, we're, we're taking my example, right? We're analyzing my system and my framework. And the transformative process that I have underwent when I was younger is that I was able to make, to turn my passion into profit through content creation, through creating an online business and through online course creation, right? So what is the next step here? If we're taking my, again, my transformative experience and my framework, what I would do if I were you, right? The next step is we should fire AI, we should fire ChatGPT to help us create a target avatar and understand his problems. So once you pick a niche, the next exact step is to create a target avatar. Why do we want to create a target avatar? We want to create a target avatar because it is very easy for us then to list his problems down and those problems we're going to copy, we're going to paste on a document, we're going to keep them there until it is time to implement them and until it's time to start solving those problems with our videos. So coming up, we're firing ChatGPT, all right? We're creating a tar target avatar and we are listing is problems down. So thank you very much. See you in the next lesson.